What's going on, YouTube? Well, I finally got my package in uh, from Virtual Con, San Diego Comic Con, Summer Con, whatever you want to call it. Um, I alluded to on the last video that I didn't have any luck on Funko. Um, I went to go check out, I think I might have had like four items in my cart, maybe five or six. Hell, I don't remember now. Um, everything that I had in my cart, by the time I finally did get through to check out, was sold out. Um, I got to the same spot that I think everybody on Twitter was talking about, where it just sat there and spun on the shipping part. And they had free shipping, so, eh, I don't know. Either way, um, let's see. Yeah, I got an unboxing today. We'll talk about the Funko Pops that I've, uh, picked up in, like, the last week. Um, they all have a similar theme with the exception of maybe two. So, uh, other than that, I think that's about it. Let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and then we'll talk about what I've just picked up recently. Um, kind of, kind of stoked about this. I would tell you where it's from, but then you'll instantly know what it is and probably click off the video and say to hell with it. Don't want to see him babble. I probably should say this to the very end. Be build the uh, suspense up a little bit. Sweet. Yeah. Little mailing slip. I did send in uh, pop sorters, so that's good. The only problem with that is that means they probably aren't in pop protectors. Eh, don't matter. Like, all the stuff that I picked up as of recently, like, I gotta put everything in pop protectors. I don't think I bought anything. Everything I bought has been off of, uh, store shelves. Like, I haven't been ordering anything. These are actually the only two pops that I think I've ordered in a long time. There really hasn't been anything coming out that I actually collect or want. I'm still waiting on stuff from, uh, Shumi, I think, from back in December. I pre-ordered uh, He-Man and Battle Cat. Still haven't got it. And I pre-ordered the Michael Jordan, the two collegiate Michael Jordans. Not the Walmart exclusive. I got that one, but it was just the two other ones. Um, still haven't got those. But Clawful from Toy Tokyo. This was one of them that I tried to get off a of Funko shop and didn't go through so i thought i had missed out and luckily i got the alert that told me that they had went live with their uh their release and i was able to pick up clawful and toytokyo.com and i also got blast attack I wasn't as stoked about this one as I was Clawful, because Clawful was like one of those like major characters. I, at least I felt like in the 80s run of uh, Mattel's toy line. Uh, Blast Attack, not so much. He got a small little tear in the corner right there, but other than that, the boxes are pretty minty. Can't really complain about that. Blast Attack definitely looks different than he did in the 80s toy line. Give you a little look at it. Where you can kind of see his chest and stuff. If I get away from the glare. Yeah. I don't know. He's alright. Clawful. Whole lot cooler. His, uh, his chest plate's kind of reminiscent of the 80's toy line. Yeah, if I can get away from the glare. There we go. So. Yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, I was stoked to get him. Because I was bummed when I didn't get him. I didn't really care about the other stuff I had in my cart. Um, well, I kind of did. Like, I was I was a little salty that I missed out on Bakugo. Uh And I didn't know that uh, the Hot Topics locally were going to have them that Thursday. So I didn't even send anybody to go get me one. Because usually if I'm working, I'll try to finagle something where somebody who's either not working, goes into work a little bit later or something like that, can just run by and pick me up something or stand in line for a couple minutes to grab me one. I had at least two people that I could have called on to do it, and I didn't know. Uh, usually, Hot Topic's really good, at least locally, before COVID. 
they were real good about posting everything that they were going to release that Thursday, especially if it was a major release like, you know, Emerald City or San Diego, New York Comic Con, any of the shared exclusives and stuff. Usually they would really, they post them on their Instagram and let you know, hey, you know, we're going to have this. This is how many we got. Or they tell how many chases they have sometimes. Eh, that's kind of iffy, though. I've never got a chase in the wild, so eh, I don't know. It is what it is. But I missed out on them, and I'm not paying $80 for Bakugo. Um, I don't remember who they had for the Dragon Ball Z pop, but I, I ain't really worried about that one. I really did want the Bakugo, though. Like, I have a huge uh, My Hero collection. i seen it the New Wave... It's starting to pop up on Hot Topic. I haven't seen it on anywhere else besides pre-orders. Um, but they have three of the figures, but they don't have Deku, and they don't have... Uh... Damn, it's one other one. I can't remember who it is. They got one that's... They got three of them, pretty much. That's what... I'll just say that. And then there's a couple of them that I don't know if they're going to ever release or not. I know that supposedly they canceled Deku in the... Uh... Um, academy, like, I don't know, the pop building, or, I don't even know what the hell they're calling those things, that, like, they did one for Ghostbusters, and they're supposed to, they were supposed to do one for, uh, My Hero Academia, but, I wasn't gonna get that one anyways, like, I really, for the most part, I don't collect bigger pops, um, like I said, I did order the pop ride with, uh, He-Man and Battle Cat, I seen today that they were going to come out with another wave, and it's going to have a uh, Skeletor on Panthor. Honestly, I'll probably get that just so I can have the matching matching set. But for the most part, like, eh, I'm not real big on big pops. Um, I did see that they're coming out with a 10 inch uh, He Man, so eh, I'll probably end up picking that up. I mean, it's Masters of the Universe; you got to have them. But those are the two of the con. Uh, exclusives I picked up. Let's see if I can reach it. Also, I think I went to Target to get this. Picked up Stan Lee. He was the first one out of all the con stuff that I picked up. He came out like, I don't know, maybe a week and a half, two weeks before uh, everything else started released. So, I got the Iron Man Stan Lee. It's cool. I got a couple of little Stan Lee pops. Not a lot. I'm not a huge collector like that's not something that I'm just out to go after and let me grab one other one for y'all and I did pick up Marty checking his watch from uh, Back to the Future it was in a little bubble coat the old digs I honestly man I really wouldn't mind having this whole line like I love Back to the Future Back to the Future 1 and 2 like they were like a staple of my childhood i didn't care for three too much with the old west and stuff i thought it was kind of corny even when i was a kid i thought it was kind of corny but i mean eh, the first two were really really good to me i'm i don't know like i said i'm an 80s baby so you know i grew up on back to the future and karate kid and obviously masters of the universe uh all the 80s toy lines i've seen they're coming out with some gi joe uh pops uh I don't know if I'll end up collecting those because I didn't get to finish off the first wave of the older ones. I think I'm still missing like two of them and they're the more expensive ones. So kind of is what it is. But without further ado, let's get into some of the other stuff that I picked up. Walk with me. All right. So as you can see, I did pick up the Skeletor glow in the dark t-shirt pack from Walmart I got the metallic uh, Webster <laughs> hot topic uh, sticker but I bought it from Walmart I also picked up the regular Webster uh, Mosquito He-Man Prince Adam Sorceress Cyclone and Tongue Lasher, so that's pretty much that whole that whole run, and I picked them all up at the same Walmart. And then I also got, yeah, let's see if I can get the glare off of it. There we go. And I also got uh, the He-Man Glow in the Dark Pop with T-shirt. 
I actually got these from a different store than what I got all the pops from. And I ended up getting two of the the Hot Topic exclusive Webster's. Um, when I went to get those, I might have picked up the Marty. I can't remember. But I know I ended up having to go to the store different Walmarts like four times to get this uh, these t-shirt bundles. They were telling me that they had them on, uh, online. And then whenever I would go to... This, I went to one store manager in that department was really rude didn't want to go look didn't care and it's typical you know Funko Pop stuff at Walmart so I ended up checking back they didn't end up having them they ended up actually putting them out on the store later on like two three days later but I found that they had one like 40 minutes away from me and so when I went to go there on a Saturday, she told me she couldn't sell them to me until Monday. So I ended up having to go back Monday, and that's where I ended up getting them from. But I ended up going to a couple other stores looking for them and stuff. His tongue lash is pretty cool, too. He has a little bit of a dent in his little corner and stuff, but for the most part, it's a pretty cool pop. Let's see if we can get the glare off of it. But yeah, so going for so long without buying any Funko Pops, I finally uh, picked up some new Funko Pops. Now, now I got to buy fun uh, pop protectors and put them all in pop protectors. Oh, and I almost forgot. That's not it. We ended up getting. I got this one, the Funko Shop exclusive. I think I got it a couple weeks ago. Like, it came out way before everything else. Uh, I ended up getting it. Didn't do an unboxing video, unfortunately, because I didn't have any other Funko Pops to unbox. Because, it's like I said, I haven't really been buying them. Let's see. That glare is just going to be horrible on these. But, did end up getting him. And, when I went to go pick up the t-shirts... That's when I picked up Marty, and I also picked up the regular 10-inch Skeletor. So, needless to say, they put out a 10-inch He-Man. I'll end up buying it. I'm a sucker. What can I say? But, we're coming up on the 15-minute or 15 minute mark, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Um, if you picked up anything on this virtual con, if you had any luck... Let me know, what did you guys end up getting? Because I damn near struck out. Um, I could have picked up tons of the Martys. I mean, they were pretty prevalent. Actually, when I picked up Stan Lee, I knew the day it was releasing. I went to the Target early in the morning. They were unguarded. I probably could have bought five or six of them. I, I was just happy to get one. I wasn't really that stoked about it. I just kind of wanted one. Um, but... Those Masters of the Universe from uh, Toy Tokyo, I was stoked to get those because they were kind of hard to get. I, like I said, I wish I would have got the Hot Topic shared exclusives. Didn't end up hitting on that one. Eh, maybe they'll come down in value. Maybe they won't. If they do, I'll pick them up. If they don't, then eh, it just be another one I missed out on. It's no big deal. That Bakugo did look pretty damn cool, though. <laughs> but like I said, comment below. Tell me what you guys ended up picking up if you picked up anything. And thanks for watching. Peace.